Hi everyone, in this video I will show you the Latte Panda which I have over here 2 GB of RAM and 32 GB of EMC storage um, I'm going to show you here um, the Berkeley Open Infrastructure for Network Computing or called also Boink as you can see I'm running some work community rig task here with the OpenSika project which launched this week and well what I'm going to show you mainly is the performance of the Latte Panda. So um the Latte Panda used an Intel Atom X5 C8300 which is clocked at 1.45 uh, gigahertz. However, you can see here the actual speed of it is 1.25, 1.27 gigahertz, um 88% of uh, CPU utilization. Um that's not bad but um well that's not bad because this is a mobile processor basically this is a tablet a processor for tablets and boards like this as you can see so anyway the system is very responsive um you can see going over here and if i add a, a, a gpu project I tested it earlier. Let's see if I still have um, the Collapse Conjecture. No, I I, really, I took off the Collapse Conjecture, but um, let's add it here just for you can see the how much it will throttle the CPU when running a GPU um, project like Collapse Conjecture. Let's um, put over here my password. You can. Uh, yeah. All right, communicating with project. And there we go. So let's wait for Collect Conjet Tour to download the, a few tasks. It, say, it says for its initialization. Um, there we go. It, down, it is downloading the Collect Conjet Tour task. And I'm going to put here the task manager. So, and it is now running. And now the GPU, the, the CPU, will throttle down you can see it as it has already throttled down it goes down to the 0 0.48 gigahertz 0 0.46 gigahertz um yep it goes down just like that so the latte panda which is here is this board is not good for gpu um applications or and projects so the best thing to use the Latte Panda is for CPU intensive applications like Web Community Grid which is a very good um, CPU project because the GPU will throttle down the, the processor to this level so I'm going to detach it now now that you saw the the performance of it uh, and the, how it affects the, the processor we're communicating with Boink there we go, it erased the, the project and now I have Work Community Grid as you can see I'm running Work Community Grid I'm running on WUProp at home I'm running Goofix Grid at home and Gridcoin Finance yes I'm in the Gridcoin team and there we do have the, the CPU is going up again it will take some time for the CPU to go up to 1.20 GHz mainly again because well, the, it is pretty hot because of the GPU but still the Latte Panda is a very good deal for the price there we go it went now up to, to 120 gigahertz so for the price the Latte Panda is a very good board to run Boink with uh, with CPU projects of course it is not the fastest CPU nor it is the fastest um, um, CPU for running this task it will take a few hours to run this task so if that doesn't bother you the Latte Panda is a really good choice for you um, right now they are shipping the the Latte Pandas for the Kickstarter backers but you can order one on, on the on the website so if you want one it is pretty cheap too so you should get one so this concludes this video of, you, of, of me showing the Boink running on the Latte Panda. Again, this is the board, and you can see I have the HDMI cable connected to it, which is connected to the to the display. 
So now that I showed you the, the performance, it is up to you to decide if the Latte Panda is good for you, it is it fits into your budget and well it depends if you want one or, or not. So thank you for watching this video. Um I'm contributing to the to a good cause running Boink here. Um you should do it too in your computer. So yep. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. If you did, please share this video, like it, um, comment on it, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching again.